It is the 28th of September 2015. The sugar beet harvesting season has begun and strange scenes are being enacted in the middle of a large wind farm near the village of Liepen in Mecklenburg, Western Pomerania. A group of engineers, machine builders, mechanics and electricians has arrived to pull off a very special feat here in the next 24 hours. Everything is running smoothly. Each of them is a specialist in his field. But what exactly is going on? It's 40 years since the first beet harvester began operation at the machine builder Holmer. But it was not just any old harvester back then. It was the first ever self-propelled sugar beet harvester and a milestone for agricultural machinery. In its first season, the machine with its six-row header harvested around 220 hectares. A whole new level in sugar beet harvesting technology. Harvesters have grown in the meantime. More bunker capacity, larger engines and more electronics. However, although there are now eight and nine row lifter units on the market, a lot of acreage is still harvested with a six row machine. In a hitherto unprecedented attempt, Holmer wants to show just how efficient and reliable the big multi-row units are. Everyone on the team will be doing their best to set a new world record here over the next few hours. And this is the star of the show. The 626 horsepower Terados T430, equipped with a new 12-row HR12 lifter unit. The unit's dimensions are gigantic, just like the crop volumes it will harvest here over the next 24 hours. The record-breaking attempt will take place on two sugar beet fields at the farming operation Baltic Agra. But of course, they don't just want to break the record. The quality of the harvest also has to be right. Wichard von Holzendorf, manager of the farming operation here in Liepen, will make sure of that. Unnecessary trips over the field are to be avoided and the bunker silo must also be easily accessible for later removal transport. We've had very little rainfall over the last few weeks. The last time it rained was about four weeks ago. The land is very dry. I'm anxious to see how the harvester handles it. The two fields cover 95 hectares, not including the headland. All the islands and trees were measured accurately using GPS. The fields have only been pre-harvested along the graveled service roads leading to the wind turbines. The mayor of the municipality is also on site as an additional witness to make sure everything is properly carried out. Before starting, the job computer is set to zero. At exactly 12.01 on the 28th of September, driver Thomas Hillmeyer starts off on the 24-hour mission with the Terados T430. The HR12 lifter unit was in development for two years, of which one whole season was dedicated to thorough field testing. Despite the enormous quantities of beets that the header lifts out of the soil, the Terados keeps moving along at its usual speed. The average yield is later calculated at 62.5 tonnes per hectare. The automatic individual row depth control easy lift allows the exact working depth to be maintained along each row despite the enormous working width of 5.4 meters with a row spacing of 45 centimeters. The system regulates this independently and automatically for each row. It's important that the harvester does not stop moving. All the transport trailers are kept busy. Four transport trailers are used for unloading. This includes the Terravarian 600 Eco, now with 35 cubic meters of multi-bunker space. The setup is also suitable for corn or whole plant silage. Towards 
evening, the first members of the team start making projections. How many hectares will it be possible to harvest? The current target is 40 hectares by midnight. The fact that the header is twice as wide as the six-row unit allows every second crossing of the field to be saved, as well as the laying out of transport corridors, over which the transport vehicles also drive only once. The Easy Help telemetry system allows important harvester parameters to be monitored at all times. Terados is equipped with 1250-50 R32 soil-conserving tyres at the back end, with an air pressure of 1.7 bar. The same applies to the front axles, with their IF800-70 R38 tyres at 1.4 bar air pressure. The Terados is equipped with 1250-50 R32 soil-conserving tyres at the back end, with an air pressure of 1.7 bar. Apart from the number of hectares, the developers are also interested in other harvester performance figures. Head of development at Holmer, Dr. Michael Galmeyer, provides an overview almost 10 hours after the start of the mission. The clock's now showing 9.40 p.m. It's cooled down and everyone is wearing a heavy jacket. It's going very well. We have harvested 35 hectares so far so we're averaging 3.6 hectares per hour. These are great numbers. We're very happy with the machine. In addition to the performance, the harvest quality is also very good. The onboard computer is indicating fuel consumption of 17 litres per hectare, another peak value. the next morning. The night passed without incident, although the team didn't get much sleep. Eddie Riecher, head of operations, reports. I got half an hour's sleep. We fueled up as planned and even did a little maintenance work. As you can see behind me, fatigue does lead to some minor errors. We miscounted the number of rows when starting on a new patch. These things happen. The seven o'clock sunrise provides new motivation. How many hectares have actually been harvested already? Sebastian, how many hectares do you have on the counter now? 67.8 hectares. The drivers were joking about quitting after 60 hectares. But we will, of course, carry on until the full 24 hours are over. Later in the morning, there are only a few hectares left. Not just because the 24 hours are nearly over, but also because the available 95 hectares are gradually being finished off. But not every last sugar beet will be harvested. The finishing time is one minute after 12, exactly 24 hours after the Terados T430 started. Exhaustion, as well as the pride of having taken part, is etched on the faces of the Holmer team. The numerical values on the job computer in the Terados already give a rough indication. But in order to determine the harvested area even more precisely, the missing spots are determined and subtracted using GPS. We see before us the results of 24 hours of long and hard work. We started yesterday at 12 o'clock in sunshine and 20 degrees. During the night it cooled off. We've now harvested about 6,000 tons of beets. That's a great result for 24 hours. The areas have now been calculated using GPS and GIS systems. And the final result 
is an effectively harvested area of 85.6 hectares. An impressive bottom line result, with which we're very pleased. So I would sum up that we have indeed set new standards in terms of harvested hectares and efficiency and have significantly raised the bar. There is one final fascinating statistic still to be added. Assuming a sugar content of 18.6%, the volume of sugar beets that Team Holmer harvested here within 24 hours is enough to produce 332 million sugar cubes. You can decide for yourself just how many cups of coffee that would sweeten. Mm -hmm.